Hi everybody, welcome to G4G here on YouTube. Today we are in Paladins, Champions of the Realm, High Res. We are taking a look at a new champion that is available within the game. Quite a unique looking little thing. She is Willow the Fairy. And let me tell you, that is definitely the most fairy of fairies that I have seen. At some point in here, she's going to emote, and you will swear that this fairy is straight out of Disney. Uh, let's see if I can get her to do it. It's not this. Although, I mean, that does look very Disney Fantasia-ish. But, she's going to sit at some point here. And when she does, she looks... So much like a Disney character. I, I kind of commend High res for this. There it is. That's it. I mean, or like Bugs Life, maybe DreamWorks. Kind of reminds me of Bugs Life a little bit. Um, here, are, here are her colors. So the first set affects her wings. You get a dark purple or a dark blue compared to her yellow. Her second set affects her actual body. So you can mix and match there. There's Bluebell, there's Lilac, and then there's Yellow for the default. Her weapons are either the Gold, the Lilac, or the Bluebell. And she, of course, has this emote. She has a MVP pose of crisscross legs. Looks a little derpy there. And, you know, sprays and everything like that, which, unfortunately, I don't have. Taking a look at her skills, she has Wand of Overgrowth, Fire a Blast of Fey Energy that deals 500 damage every three quarters of a second, Dead Zone, which puts out spores that prevents healing in the area for four seconds. If you move out of the spore, you can't heal for two. So if it lands on you and you leave, you're only going to be affected by two seconds. But if you stay in there, you're going to be affected by for full four. Her movement ability is Flutter. Which it says that uh, it propels her forward and upwards. 10 second cooldown, 15 second for dead zone. Seedling is area damage. Toss a seed that explodes after a one second fuse dealing 500 damage and spawning additional seeds. That also explode for 500 damage after a second. And an ultimate of Fey Flight. Which it just says that she harnesses the power of Fey and takes this guy for 10 seconds. It doesn't really seem to say what it is that she does. I have run into uh, two Willows when I just did a match before. I had a Willow on my team, and I had a Willow on the enemy team, and they did uh, very high damage. The Willow on the enemy team uh, did something like 97k, my Willow did 71k, uh, and unfortunately we lost. It was, it was close, but it was payload, and, and people just don't like to sit on that point, unfortunately. So, we will take a look at her over here. Uh, increase the damage of each seedling by 350. An enemy has drawn so that's 850. Blood. Targets hit by your attacks take 50 additional damage from you. Dead zone damages shields. It seems like it's going to be situational. And uh, I haven't done cards yet, so... Ah, okay. So we see how her... Basic works over here. Enemy killing spree. So it has basically when it hits the target, it has a little bit of splash. Splash is kind of touchy. Just a little bit of movement to the side affects whether or not it's killing splashing. Spree. 
She does not seem Kennedy to have rampage. damage fall off. She's 500 no matter what. Doesn't even seem to have a crit. However, that flower ivy vine kind of pattern when you hit somebody, that's, that's cool. Okay, so let's take a look at her first ability. So there's the seed. So you can easily see how a willow can do massive damage. If you have a lot of people clustering up in an area. Let's see. Savage. So this spread over here is apparently too big, but similar to say a rocket launcher, it looks like you've got decent splash damage and you can use the environment to your advantage. So now we're starting to get some fall off. If we use the environment for splash, there's definitely some fall off. So the closer you get the shot, so here is a shot for only 200. Interesting, okay. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at her movement ability. Oh wow, okay, that was jarring. Kind of shooting Double over that kill. Cassie's head to get the splash damage. What? Let's see that movement ability. Stay away from me. Ah, interesting. Double it's kind kill. of a little hop. It kind of reminds me of Diva's boost in Overwatch. Let's see if we can get that. Yep. There's that 850. That seems pretty good if you can get people cornered. Now let's see the ultimate here. Oh. Okay. That's kind of fun. There's not a lot of vertical access in Paladins. Vertical access. So the ability to get above somebody like that, that's going to be pretty nice. Oh yeah, she has a right click. We forgot about that. So there's the anti-healing click. Wow, that lasts a while. Let's see if we get... Some splash. I'm going to aim it at the feet. Double kill. Okay. I, I think we've definitely got a nice little um, feel for her. I guess those who maybe play a lot of Eevee uh, might be used to her. She does seem pretty strong. And I think if she's allowed to sit on the back line and just AoE the hell out of objectives, um, pretty good. Let's see what she's... She's classified as straight damage. You know, that, that purple actually goes pretty well with her gold. Is it dangerous? May as well dangerous? spend some money and equip that over here because I have tons of gold. Uh, you know, I actually like the definition of leaving her as yellow and purple, which is actually my old uh, college's colors. Ooh, never purple seen and yellow. Like 
And okay. So what we want to do now is take a look at her cards. Create a new loadout. Something we always do generating these videos. Generate an ammo when activating a seedling. Heal for 50 health after activating a seedling. Gain reload speed. Reduce the cooldown of seedling if you hit an enemy with seedling. Um, I like a little bit of sustain. Always. Dead zone. Heal for 20 health per second while standing in dead zone. Gain 10% movement speed for 2 seconds when in the dead zone. Increase the duration. Reduce the cooldown. Uh, I like increasing the duration because we know we can buff that up. Reduce the cooldown of Flutter. Heal for 50 when activating Flutter. Generate ammo. Gain 50% increased air control after Flutter ends. Could be... It's gonna... I guess that's gonna be... That was her ultimate and not her movement ability. Increased air control after it ends would be... Probably, no, this can't be um, the ultimate because reduction of cooldown. Yeah, I would, no, go back. Okay. Uh, gain reload speed, gain movement speed when out of combat, gain 50 health. Eliminations, re you know, she, this, I think I would go aggressive on this one. Because I do believe she's going to be part of a lot of eliminations. And let's even give her some sustain. And health. Heal for 50. And let's increase the duration of dead zone. Unfortunately, I think that one's very, very situational. If they don't have a healer, Sparkle's not really going to help that much. But let's do heal for 100. Um... Bump that up. Bump that up. Bump 100 health. And now... Tough call. Uh, it sounds like she's got a lot of uh, good cards here. But it's, it's nice to know that I can go the sustain route if I want. Or I can get even a little bit aggressive. Now, unfortunately, with this patch, once again, uh, and this hasn't happened in a while, but it definitely happened today when I logged in and started playing, Keybinds got fucked up again. I, that made me so mad about this game months ago, and it finally started getting better. And now, yet again, it did that shit. Like, I started to go walk out in my spawn... And suddenly, like, I wasn't moving, and... Uh, yeah, absolutely ridiculous. I have never met a game that fucks with key bindings every patch the way this game did. And I was so happy because it had been steady for a while. And, you know, now it just got screwed up again. Hopefully I can snag a Willow. Select your champion. Uh, I think I do have to play as... Where are you, Willow? Ah, uh, somebody grabbed it. Well, that's a shame. Uh, I, and damn, somebody grabbed Ceres, too. I... Ten seconds I remaining. guess I'll do Torvald. It's been a while since I Torvald. So, on my Ceres game that I had before, pretty much the Customize only time that I was dying was when Prepare Torvald was ultimating and blew me off the edge of the map like literally that's how i was dying was because i was getting torvalded off the map i mean it's far this isn't like roadhog's ultimate distance i mean this knocked me clear off the map i was in like another universe from everybody else getting hit with this so much knowledge in here, waiting to In be discovered. Increase recharge duration. Yeah, may as well go with that. Live forever. I always like life rip. It's one of my favorite things to go for. 
thought I have to let's see so battle is about to begin. direct damage recharges the shield channeling on an enemy siphon shield protection project health shield onto an ally shoot a short blast on to disarm yeah hyper beam that's the stuff right there five four okay. three two one let the so my begin. first ability is what shields my enemies, uh, shields my friends a la Zarea. An enemy has drawn first blood. It. I okay. Enemy, double kill. I have a feeling this one's going to go badly. I feel like I did not have a whole lot of my team around me there. Enemy killing spree. Stop the payload. Killing spree. This... <sighs> wow, Willow, could you have done something there? Holy shit. I mean, the Willow was right behind him on his ass, and just wasn't doing anything. Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do here. I don't even have enough to get another life rip. That's kind of sad. It's weird that Torvald doesn't actually have a movement ability. He just has another ability. Point spawning in 15 seconds. Torval Torvald versus Torvald. Not fun. Five, four, three, two, one. I would love to see stats at this point. I really would, because I would like to see who's doing damage on my team. Finally pushed the enemy Torvald off. And that happens. And we're making no progress again because nobody is enemy killing spree. Stop the payload. I just, I never have anybody around me. I'm trying to get to a teammate, and I, nothing I can do. Organic transportation? An enemy is unstoppable. 
Yeah, I love the sound of that. Yay, for minor victories. Oh, come on! That fire rate, Jesus Christ. Well, that might have bought us a little bit of time. Yeah, not a whole lot I could do there. I don't know that I ever got healed by the Ceres. And that's really, really sad when a Shaolin gets a top play because I think Shaolins are fucking awful. Sad. 30 seconds remaining. Really, really sad. Two thousand healing as a Ceres. That is fucking awful. I was thirty eight and three on Ceres in my last map. That's oh, that's just really, really sad. I shielded more. And they didn't even have a healer. I mean, just had to crank out a little bit better heals there. And that could have gone way differently there. Oh, well. There is Willow. There is the newest patch here for Paladins. I'm sure I'll be able to figure out the patch number when I look at the launcher. 49, maybe, open beta patch. So, if you get a chance to try her out, let me know what you think. Peace out, everybody.